Alright guys, back again for another video today. Today, uh, in the second video, we're going to be doing everyone's all-time favorite map, which is Zanzibar. Don't really need to say anything else about that. Enough said. So we all know what Zanzibar is. It is an awesome map with the awesome windmill in the middle of the map. Um, there's a lot, a lot, a lot to talk about with this map, so hopefully I can uh, do this as fast as possible. All right. So, uh, there are two different uh, remakes in uh, Master Chief Collection. There's Last Resort in Halo 3, where uh, right here you see this little L-shaped, um, you know, pillar. You could—it was actually connected on Last Resort, and you can actually get up there. It's not the case in this uh, Halo 2 original made map. Uh, Halo 2 remastered—it's different too. I mean, there, so you know, it's easily to get confused. Um, this is a big team battle map, but it's also a pretty good 4v4 map. Um, it is a very strategic 4v4 map. It's good for uh, one flag. Uh, not, I wouldn't say it's good for two flags. It's very good for one uh, game types, like uh, one bomb, one flag. Uh, it's good for Slayer, good for Team Snipers. You see you've got the Ghost for a big team battle, along with the um, Goss Overpowered Hog, which is awesome. Um, there's a bunch, I mean, it's good for hide and seek if you ever played that game type back in Halo 2, that was really fun. Um, but let's just go over where everything is. Not a competitive game type, so no real callouts, but there are a couple callouts that everyone uses because they've been uh, become popular over time. Up here you have the cave where it uh, looks over uh, to Camp Froman. This is called Camp Froman right here. Um... And uh, the reason why is because there's a sign right there that says Camp Roman. Uh, this is where people camp and all that good stuff. Um, I believe there was a sniper here. Maybe I just blew it away with my fusion uh, coils. But uh, you can get up here. A good spot. Uh, in Last Resort there is a railing that takes you all the way to those uh, windows right there, little area. another ghost right there, another warthog right there, regular warthog, not the uh, gauze warthog. Um, in last resort you can actually go under Camp Roman, there's a little space right there, a couple rocks to hide behind, I mean this map is just crazy with uh, stuff, you know, uh, BR right there, you can jump up here, there's, there's a lot of jumps on this map too. Fossil rifle. You can jump up here, get the sniper. You can you can look at everything basically, except in the base. You can look over there, 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 there everywhere. Um, the sniper over here spawns right here where you're walking. In uh, last resort, it spawns right here. And in last resort, these are actually like 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 in Zanzibar, it, it, uh, they make it look like everything's broken down and it looks cool. In last resort. Um, they make it look like it is an actual like resort for people to come on their vacation if they're tourists. And these windows are refined. The sniper's uh, lying on one of these windows. Everything's like clean and stuff. But the thing about uh, Halo 2 Zanzibar is I like the way it looks. Um, you can actually jump up here. It's uh, it's not the hardest jump, but it's not the easiest jump. You gotta crouch and uh, to get up there and have a little bit of speed. Uh, camo spawns up here. And the last resort, I believe a. Bubble shield spawns up there, uh, brute shot spawns here, but in the Halo 2 remake, uh, well, Halo 2, I mean the Halo 2 original version, the ABR spawns there. Plasma rifle, two plasma nades. Uh, let's see here, moving up. There is a breakable bridge right here. You can melee it, you can shoot it once with a sniper, whatever you want. Makes a lot of noise, so people will definitely know uh, if you're coming. Down here, there's a sword. In last resort, there's camo. Uh, let's see here. Thought there was a sniper here. Maybe that's in uh, Last Resort. Could have sworn there was a sniper there, though. I don't know. Sometimes I get confused with all the uh, all the remakes and stuff. So ghost right there. You can get up uh, with a sniper on this little whatever you want to call it, little dirt mountain. Um, climb up this little dirt mountain and you will get up into the base, break the glass, break the glass, uh, capture the flag right there, uh, plant the bomb right there, and also there is a little button right here, if you press it, 
the uh, gate opens up for any vehicle to come in. So obviously the enemy base, uh, the enemies are going to be the ones pressing the button. And you've got little messes that pop up here. Read that if you want. Buttons. Um, these spinny things that you, you can actually get up on top of, I believe. If I remember how to do so, I probably don't. I'm not sure if it was only... Oh, hold on, I think I can do it. Let's see here. One. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Maybe you can't. Maybe you have to super bounce. I don't remember. It's been so long since I've played this map. You, you guys don't even know. But, um, you can... I believe you can... Yeah, you can blow these off. So... I don't know what the reasoning behind that is, but you can blow them off. Um, doorways right here. I mean, everything is so different between this and Last Resort. It is just like... There's no point for me to talk about it because this is just so different. And oh, there's a sniper. I blew it all the way over here. That's what happened. Okay. Uh, warlock, like I said, fusion coils everywhere. Uh, plasma grenades. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, different openings inside the base for enemies to come into and you know to protect your base and all that. On each side up here, there are two turrets for you to shoot your enemies with. You can shoot the guys at camp, shoot the guys at camp Roman, um, shoot the guys trying to get into the warthog. Yeah, you can shoot them, kind of, sort of. And uh, one of the best turrets is the one in Hill 2, definitely. Um, also, rockets spawn up here. There's a spine laser that spawns up here in the Hill 3 remake. Uh, let's see here. You can actually jump up here like so and yeah and if you didn't know if you're having a hard time getting on top where rockets spawn uh, right there I was gonna super bounce that's why I took down some of my shield there's no fall damage in able to uh, you can just you know have it pick you up and you can just go up on here with your rod with your whatever you got and then you know go ham uh, you could also jump down here on the bridge whatever you prefer um, actually doing this pretty fast thought it would take a lot longer uh, also, you can jump this way. I already showed you the other way, but right here you can just jump up here like this. It's a lot, it's a little bit more difficult, but you you know you just get glide up there and uh, be more careful. Uh, nothing really to talk about on the beach, to be honest. It's just with the uh, people that have to capture the flag or whatever. Uh, there's a little sign up there that says "Don't go in the water because there's sharks." Um, beautiful map, even in the 2004 version, it's still a beautiful map without the graphics and all that. Um, you see the water coming and just the noise and stuff. It's just it's beautiful. It just sounds beautiful and it's very peaceful. If you're having a bad day, you can just come on Zanzibar or Last Resort or uh, Stone Town, which is the remake in Halo 2 Anniversary. You can just come on here and you know, clear your head. So yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, good for flag. One flag, one bomb. Team Slayer, Team Snipers, like I said. Um, it's a little dumpster right there for you to jump onto or hide behind or whatever. Um, pretty sure I talked about everything. I showed you uh, some jumps. That's obviously probably not all the jumps. Um, super bouncing was very popular on Zanzibar. Of course, it's uh, not as easy because we all know what happened with the 60 frames, but you would, uh, one jump was right here, you crouch into this, and then you jump right here where that track is, and you'd be able to super bounce, but um, you would actually somehow have to get up there or there and super bounce from there because you have to be a lot higher with the 60 frames in order to super bounce because it won't let you do it uh, no matter what you do. Um, you'd have to go back to Halo 2 back on the Xbox 360 or Xbox original if you want to super bounce. Um, but other than that, there's rock and ammo in between these rocks. Um, Last Resort is really different. Um, I advise you to get familiar with Last Resort. It'll be a little bit before I do my Halo 3 map guide. So familiarize yourself with... Yeah, see there, it spawns right there. In Last Resort, it's, it spawns right here. Um, here, it spawns right there. But... Uh, if you're planning on going to Halo 3 matchmaking or whatever and you get Last Resort, I promise you, you will be confused as I will be. Um, please familiarize yourself with the map. Uh, Last Resort is a lot different than this map. Um, 
everything is different. I mean, every everything is different. It's just crazy. Camera's not up here. Uh, rockets aren't there. I mean, the jumps are different. There's more height. Uh, it's crazy. But uh, if, as always, if I missed anything, please shout out in the comment section below. Let anybody else know, um, you know, that I missed something and uh, that this is this. If I was wrong about something, you know, correct me. Um, also, you can hit these things and uh, take more cover into your base so nobody can lob some grenades in there and kill you. You can poke out and be like, hey, boom, you're dead. Hey, boom, you're dead. And, uh, oh, oh, I'm going to pick out this one now. Oh, wait, no, I'm going to pick out this one now. Oh, actually, I'm not even going to poke out those. I'm going to go over here. So, yeah. Um, I believe that's it. So, uh, you can go around, read the signs, and have a good time on this map. Um, one thing that I love about the glass in Halo 2 is that it, take, it, it takes more than one shot to uh, break the glass. Like you got to melee it like a couple times. It only takes out like bits and pieces of the glass. That's what I really like about uh, Halo 2. Like one, two, three, four, five, and it's all gone. It takes like five melees, five shots, whatever. Uh, also, I really like the fusion coil because they're like really flexible in this game. I think that's it though. So I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, map guide. I'm enjoying making it for you guys and um, I'm even getting familiarized with the maps that I haven't played in almost a decade. So um, thanks for watching guys and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.